Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo and we are Fanny, Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here is really interesting. Everybody knows that there is a guy who has been so, I don't know if I can say sensational on the social media or something like that. He has been blowing out, he has been just everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, in every social media you can ever imagine so the guy himself is under ted so we're gonna react to this and yeah this is just a tiktok compilation so let's just get into it this is a sigma male i don't know what that means but probably gonna find out so without any further ado guys let's get it i don't believe in depression don't message me about depression because i don't believe in it if you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts now you're afraid but if you don't believe in ghosts ah it's the wind and you go back to sleep you give the ghosts power by believing in them. Your house is only haunted if you believe in ghosts. Belief is a powerful thing. If I were to stand in front of you, and I were to tell you that I could punch you as hard as I can in your sternum, and I could fracture it and send a splinter into your heart, would you allow me to try? You wouldn't because you know I believe I can. I believe I can hurt any man on the planet, and that's why people are afraid of me. And you believe depression is a crippling disease, and that's why you're afraid of it. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just go. Oh, a vape's done charging. Load it up. And then some motherfucker's like, oh, oh, it's bad for me. Duh. The fuck? Are, how are people surprised by this shit? And now they're all over Twitter and on the news. Maybe we should do something about it. No, don't do anything. If you're so fucking stupid, it didn't cross your mind at some point that permanently sucking on this vape was going to damage you in some way. You deserve what happens to your dumb ass. And what kind of parent lets their 16-year-old vape anyway? If I had a 16-year-old son, he's like, I'll go to vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push-ups. You ain't got time to vape. You gotta do push-ups. I decided, I didn't even decide, I realized yesterday that I can actually, genuinely, right now, nothing is stopping me from becoming Batman. Nothing. I have a Batcave. Okay, yep. I have an Alfred. Okay. I have a Batmobile, a Bugatti. Yep. I can fight. Yep. Rich as fuck. You can afford body armor and all the crap that All Batman the crap, needs. you can buy yep. it all. I'm charismatic. There is nothing stopping me putting on a suit and being Batman. Batman. I don't think most women can actually genuinely understand how lonely the majority of men are. Yeah. And you need you need to truly understand if you're <laughs> Joe Schmo, average in nearly every way, in Starbucks working, you ain't getting a DM ever. But you girls, you girls, way? you girls will never be lonely. As much as you might be unhappy with the possible suitors, you can at least fuck about and flirt if you feel sad. There are men out here in the world who have genuine loneliness. And, and I can prove this statistically. Why do you think it's all the men killing themselves compared to the women? Look. Some child is outside enjoying their life, playing with toys and smiling in the sunshine and having fun. I hate happiness. I hate happy children. Anyway, you're all losers. We've, we've discussed this before. I'm the king of the world. I've got straps in my wardrobe. Look in the wardrobe. Show the wardrobe. What suit am I gonna wear? What fucking god? What on the team like that? I'm gonna say it right here in case the police roll up. You're not allowed guns in your range. But you are allowed guns in your shooting range. Why do you get my house registered as a shooting range? Bro, you don't know me. You don't, you don't know how it goes. There's a shooting range over there. Well, there's a shooting range. I'm a shooting range. Hold on, though. Have you had a serious relationship? Well, I, I, I have many concurrent serious relationships oh, wow. as we speak. Are you Polly? No, because that means they can talk to other dudes. That's fucking haram. <laughs> That's atrocious. That's disgusting. Yeah. You're awesome. not going to be calling me a pussy that I'm 
fucking roundhouse kick you in the head. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll just so you guys know, if, if I had to choose, if I sorry, if I had to choose between a roundhouse kick in the head from you or a blowjob, knowing your history, I'd probably choose the roundhouse kick in the head. <laughs> I think they like me. Yup, in my white tee. Yup, yeah. in my white tee. Yeah. yeah. Call the bike Williams for the hype, please. It's me. They gon' white you. If you are a parent and you have a young son, or if you're a young guy, what you need to do is ban Hollywood. Do not allow yourself to watch a movie or a video ever again where a woman beats up a man. Because it's not realistic and it's not true. I'm tired of seeing chicks beat up men. I'm tired of seeing it. Oh yeah, you wanna mess with me? You think I'm a girl and you mess with me, you're gonna learn something. Hey, yeah. Fuck you, ho. You ain't gonna do shit. Suck dick and cook. Do I have kids? If I had kids, I wouldn't say on the podcast. But if you had a daughter, say, yep. How would you feel if she came in with a man like you? Be well, honest. Okay, and this is the thing, and I'm going to actually be completely honest here. I really try and base my worldviews on brutal realism. I try and be a realist, even if it's hard to be a realist. If that man made her happy, good. See, I would cut his fucking dick off. Well, this is, this is, <laughs> and I know, and I understand that. But if, if she were to say, look, he does what he does, but I really love him. And, he, and I was like, does he hurt you? No, he doesn't hurt me. And I'm happy with him. Then I'd be like, as long as you're happy. Water I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. And I'll tell you why. You can get non-carbonated water, still water, from the fucking tap. The government gives you that shit effectively for free. Sparkling water you have to buy. So if you only drink sparkling water, you only drink rich man's water. I explained this to someone, some bumba club, and of course he replied with the typical, but, but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. The bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? It doesn't taste of anything. It has bubbles in it. Oh, you're afraid of bubbles? The fuck is wrong with you? This All I did was pay women. Woman worked for me, made $100,000 in a month. I gave her about 25% of that money. She got 25 grand, I got 75 grand. You're sitting there going, that's exploitative. Why'd you give her so little? So little. I'm the genius behind it. I'm the tech, I'm the emotional support. I'm the one who told her what to say and what to do. She's just the face of it all. 25% is a huge margin. When you work at McDonald's, do you get 25% of what you ring up on the till? You get less than 1%. I overpaid them all. I made women millionaires. I'm a feminist and a good man. I don't take advantage of women. What do you think, babe? <laughs> uh, one thing I'll give it to Tate is, is just, is a really entertaining, you know? He's a, I mean, you can't, you can't get bored listening to him. You, you can never get, I mean, you will, you'll either laugh and then you'll be like, what? Why did he say that? And then laugh, you get it. So he has those, um, he has those high and lows that goes goes in him. You know, you tend to agree with him, and then he says something, and then you're like, why did he say that? And then again, he he takes you. You know, it's like just a roller coaster. But um, I don't fully agree with him when in it some, when it comes to, uh, especially when he he, he tries to talk up, uh, he, he tries to talk about women. You know, you don't agree with him. No, I mean, uh, to some degree, you get it. Not everything. I actually, thought you'd agree with him. No, to some degree, I don't really. Um, like he said something here, so. He talks about like um, about what? Okay, the last thing I saw here was like uh, he gives women twenty five percent and gets seventy five. No, yeah? no, comment on this one. That one. A woman. That one, I kind of. Seen. Hmm? A man. No, uh, no, no, no. That I, I totally disagree. With. No, I totally agree with him. That women really shouldn't fight me. The thing is, it's not even realistic. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. We Look, we watch so many Netflix movies. Yeah, we see a woman literally beating men, huge men like this. As a superhero. <laughs> yes. Imagine a man just 
being beaten by a young lady, which is, to but be honest, it's not really realistic. I but what I understand what, what they are doing. But you get it. What about those videos we watch? Which videos? A woman carrying a man and she slams him down. We watch such videos before. We've seen those videos because those are weak men. That man was drunk at some point. You're calling that man weak? Yeah, he's a weak, not weak in terms, not not what I'm I'm saying weak. Even mentally, I think the man is weak. Because I look, see. if a woman can drag you up and down and pulls you down, then you shouldn't supposed to be with that woman in the first place. Because she's more man than you. He's more, more masculine, masculine than, than you. you. Yeah, find a feminine woman who can really take care of you in other ways, not dragging you up and down, not trying to put you, you know. But I saw that video and the way he put that man down, I'm like, was that man really intoxicated with some sort of alcohol or something? Because it doesn't really make sense. I think... For me, I can take any woman who comes to me. I and I'm 100 percent Mimi, I can fight one I'm woman with one hand. Think. Do you understand? So, why am I seeing a woman in an, any Netflix movies, whatever, any kind of uh, uh, movie site or whatnot, seeing a woman beating a man? Do you understand? Which is not really realistic, but anyway, we have to accept that this is entertainment, but again, that brings in some sort of conditioning. Yeah. Do you understand? Conditioning thing. to even our young, young lads who are growing up. Imagine a young lad watching all that and then he goes down to the streets. Sees a woman coming. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to be. And he's like, hey, daddy, daddy. He runs back to you and starts crying like, hey, slap that boy. Tell the boy, go back, man, and be a man. You know? I don't mean yeah, go no. back. I don't yeah, mean no. you should go back and fight the woman, but you can try. avoid someone. It's either you stand there, she does whatever she's doing, or just walk away. Yeah, but do it's you understand that the it's... kind of condition that is happening in there? Yeah, I, I yeah, actually you know? agree with so, you. So, uh, forget what I said, but all, all I'm saying is this. The thing is, the reason is why they're showing all these things to us is because they want us to view the society the way it is today. A woman can come no, they to want you. to give us an rating. <clears throat> yeah, the way not, we yeah. should view the society. Exactly how we should view the society. So you can be right there, and the woman will beat your ass, and you'll never do anything because you've seen a movie of a woman beating a wom uh, a man, and then you accept that because you've seen it. Do you understand? So you refuse to even hit back. Of course, you are taught not to hit back, <clears throat> but again, you have no any other choice but just to let the woman beat you up. You Which can avoid the situation. You can, yes, you can avoid the situation, you know. You know, I mean, that one I kind of agree with him. I mean, these Hollywood movies, man, they shouldn't really be showing that such kind of thing, especially to our young lads. You know, what are you showing them? What are you telling them? You know, and again, you, you, I mean, Maybe. also, I, I, I condone movies that a man is beating a woman. Do you understand? And, and I, I don't think it's that rare enough to see that. Have you ever seen that? Like for example, uh, let's say Batman is fighting with a woman and Batman is kicking down that woman. I swear to God, you'll never see that happening. Because Hulk, the, the Hulk series? The, the, the Hulk, what happened? Is Hulk it, series is beating the... What's it called, the new Hulk series? It's called, I don't know who, yeah. But did you see what they did there? They were beating they each made, other. They made Hulk look like he's not strong. Remember? Remember how Hope was being beaten over there? Hope did a trick this and then guess what that woman did? He did something else. It was more powerful than what it what what, what it women did. Do it better. Do you understand? So um anyway, I agree with him when it comes to that uh, point there. Um I agree with him when he said about <laughs> no forget about the sparkling water. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually fine. <laughs> it's to be honest, I don't like bad. sparkling water. I'm not scared of the bubbles. <laughs> I'm not, but I don't like sparkling. To be honest, sparkling water just dead so bad. I'd rather just drink my coffee. You know, another thing is uh, what is the other thing I was talking about? I was talking about loneliness. I swear to God, there are people who are, there are men out there who are so lonely. There are men out there who never and will never ever get a DM. I don't know. Imagine. They can't even talk to anyone because they don't know how to in the first place. 
you know and 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 there's so many there's so many out there that's why you find men killing actually the number of because they're lonely yeah i mean yeah of course i mean number of people the if you if you look at the suicidal rates you find a lot of men actually killing themselves because it's too much to bear in this world so they just give up and they just kill themselves and in the beginning he talked about depression i agree with him you know and uh, he talked about something that is really 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 important he talked about uh the ghost you know and believing that there is ghost or something the moment you tend to believe in something you give it power you know the the moment you start saying that um i believe there is witchcraft i believe there is what what i believe the moment you start saying those words you give it power so you will find yourself in a space where even if a needle drops like the way you saw something moving here but I did you see literally something. just faint <laughs> <laughs> see you, you just faint because you believe in that and then you give it space for it to just even appear in any way so that's it's kind of an illusion type of thing but people don't really understand and i don't believe they are ghosts for heaven's sake i don't believe that i mean we have how many people do we have in this world ghosts can exist but it's you how you handle that thing do you understand they don't exist how many people do we have in how many people do we have in this world seven billion. seven billion plus people we have in this world two billion people have cell phones only i'm just saying this is a rough idea i've never seen anyone take a picture of a ghost and put it out there never i've ever never have i ever seen colorless Anyone take a picture of ghosts. I see dogs back in the middle of the night. I see cats doing things. Maybe they see ghosts. I don't know. But if ghosts were there, really, we could have pictures of them. We could have movies of them. We could have just people just doing, you know. But they trust me, man. I've lived my. I'm 35 years old, man. I've not seen a ghost. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? It doesn't exist. Yeah. So. Don't give power to something that no. The whole point: don't give power to negative things. The moment you give power to anything that is negative, it's gonna come to you and hunt you down, and you find yourself in a being limited, limited, and also uh, depressed I guess. Uh, state. And uh, yeah, so bad. I agree on 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 uh, on that. And I agree with everything that you've said. What do you think? I agree. Do you agree with Andrew yeah. Andrew Ted? First of all, sometimes it depends. I believe he's a he's a he's a good guy. I and he's a funny guy. Yeah, he's a funny guy and he's really smart, man. He it's, knows how to entertain us. Oh, that guy That's smart, why we're here reacting to him. He's really he's really he's really like quick and he's smart. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, think he has something for everyone. Yes, yes, true, true. I mean, you can bring him into you can bring bring him here on a podcast. And you will not miss anything to talk about politics, geopolitics, what other what uh, talk about this religion, what 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 he's he will cover all that, and he will just explain it to you enough. You know, I think he's just sometimes goofy. He wants to uh, act tough, but I don't think it's really tough. And Ted, we're not scared of you, man. Nobody's scared of you. No one is afraid of you. The thing is, just you really want to act tough, but you ain't tough anyway. But anyway, I mean, he's he's a good guy. If there is something you guys want us to, to let us know down below, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next reaction video. Deuces.